I think people from Detroit are proud to be from Detroit and are proud of who else has come from Detroit. My name is Ryan Farley. I was a co-executive producer on the writing staff of Ozark for seasons one and two. I'm a diehard Lions fan. Like, I'm just, you know, I see every game and, you know, I've just been a fan since, I think since Barry Sanders was drafted. As I started working on stuff, if there's an opportunity to lay in either a Detroit reference or either something about the Lions, and it doesn't always have to be about the Lions. Like in one of my episodes of Ozark, it featured Bob Seeker, you know, so I'll try to, you know, work in Detroit references uh, when possible. In my third episode of Cold Case, you know, it took place in the world of professional wrestling. The cops were interviewing a murder suspect, and he was a heel, you know? He was a guy who lost every match he fought. Cop referred to him as like the Detroit Lions of professional wrestling because he lost all the time. In Low Winter Sun, which was this AMC show that was set in Detroit, so that had Detroit references all over it. Oh, sweet. Thanksgiving. I mean, they suck, but they might suck less this year. But they were talking about the Thanksgiving game and they might not suck this year. And just the optimism of every Lions fan every year. And then um, in Ozark, former UAW guy from the Detroit area named Buddy, and he's dying and he has a limited time to live. And they're sort of talking about what does it feel like to be dying? It is what it is. I'm watching the Detroit Lions. Okay. Um, I grew up in Warren. My dad was a fire marshal of Warren. He had ALS and he passed away in 97 when I was 18. It's gonna feel better. When Marty shaves Buddy and he's dying, that was uh, directly um, a scene from my life. Like the night before my father passed away, um, I shaved him in the very same way. My father being sick was, you know, was kind of a defining, such a defining moment in your life. But one thing my dad and I would do every Sunday, we'd, we'd watch the line. You know, he would just get so frustrated. I'm watching the Detroit Lions. It's sucking. The fact that, like, that one line has gotten some recognition in the Detroit area. So this is like the pinnacle of my career, you know? As far as the Lions go, I, I just feel like you can't like go up to the team and say, you know, like just stop it, just stop sucking. So many people who are Lions fans, like win or lose, we're diehards. We just want them to just like, just give us one, just, just, just give us one, you know?